what we need to do is go to the WP config file and edit it. So there's a file in here called WP config dash sample. First thing we want to do is change the name. We'll take off that sample bit. Next thing we want to do is open it up with our text editor. It can be Notepad if you're on Windows. Uh, use the text editor on Mac or Linux. They all work just about the same. So when the WP config file opens up, there are a bunch of strings of text in here that you're going to need to modify to get your site working. Now, if you look, they all start with uh, define and then DB name. So that's the name of the database that we created and that was called tutorial the username that we created tutorial underscore user the password we assigned to that user which was tutorial underscore pwd and your database host name most of the time you can leave this at localhost a few web hosting providers use a different value you need an IP address usually or a web address if you need to do that you can usually go to the FAQ or the help section that your hosting provider has and they'll usually explain what you need to put there okay so I'll save that file and close it